This is going to be a pretty quick and to the point video, guys. I just want to make sure that everybody who's rushing out today to purchase one of these new Intel Alder Lake 12th generation processors has the required information that's going to make their purchase decision and purchase process a little bit smoother and a little less problematic. As for my coverage on this chip and the Z690 motherboard family, that is coming up very soon here on the channel, so make sure that you get subscribed if you don't want to miss it. Intel Alder Lake introduces many new features, maybe the most prominent of which is that it's the first time we're seeing DDR5 used on a desktop platform. DDR5 modules look similar to DDR4 in many ways and in fact have the same amount of total pins. However, the physical layout of the PCB is different and the notch is slightly shifted, meaning that they absolutely will not work in DDR4 motherboards. This may be confusing for some as Alder Lake does in fact support DDR4 and DDR5, but it does not do so at the same time and motherboards are designed to use either one or the other. The biggest issue here is that a lot of motherboards on the market aren't necessarily using explicit branding to denote which use DDR4 and which use DDR5. So if you're in a rush to check out on Newegg before the 12900K goes out of stock within 30 seconds of going live, you might just click on the first available motherboard that fits your price range and not realize that it's DDR5 and you only have DDR4 at home. DDR5 right now is in extremely short supply and in fact I don't even have any of my own here in the office just yet. I have some en route and companies like Corsair and Gscale said that they will have some shipping out soon, but for now I'm going to have to do my testing on this board, the ASUS TUF Z690. This is a DDR4 compatible LGA1700 motherboard, but unless you deep dive into the tech specs, the only real way to know that from a quick glance at the box would be this D4 designation. Some companies like Gigabyte are doing a decent job by putting DDR4 right on the box. But then again, you have ASRock over here literally not labeling their DDR4 boards at all. Just take a minute before hitting that buy it now button to make sure you're grabbing hardware that works with the compatibility that you need. I assume that since DDR5 is in such short supply, there might be an initial rush on these DDR4 motherboards for people that want to dive into Alder Lake. Now, this chip right here is supposed to provide some significant performance gains over the previous Intel 11th gen and also, as claimed, over AMD. We have yet to see that. Benchmarks will be released extremely soon for this processor and the Alder Lake family. Just make sure that you're doing some due diligence when you're making your purchase so you don't end up having to return something or spend extra money that you weren't necessarily planning to spend. So that's it guys, just a quick consumer watchdog kind of video. Just make sure you know what you're buying and you know what kind of memory you're gonna use so you don't get screwed. This has been Brian from BPS Customs, and coverage on this is coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video helped you out just a little bit. Take care, and I'll see you next time.